I am back in my room after my first day at camp in Houston, and I want to talk about one of the sessions that I went to today. It was a session that was put on by a, a TQ group out of uh, the Houston area, and it was talking about several different apps that you could use on the iPad. And there were two in particular that I felt like would be very, very beneficial to the classes I teach. One of those apps was called Flashcardlet. It was a free app. And you can have, uh, it'll generate flashcards for several different subjects, probably all the way from pre-algebra to calculus. And one of the nice things is that a lot of the questions that are on the flashcards have been submitted by other teachers. But you can go in and you can download the particular flashcards that you want to use and then let the students go through to do a review of that. The only thing that I didn't, uh, particularly like about that particular application was pop-up ads and you can pay a little bit of money to have those uh, deleted from the application but you know, it's not a whole lot of money but still that's a little bit aggravating but I think that would be a real good review for my particularly for my AP calculus classes there are even some um, reviews for like first semester AP calculus their reviews for the AP exam, so I think it would be very beneficial. Uh, another app that I thought would be very good for my students, both my pre-cal and my calculus students, is the Easel SAT Prep. Now there's an Easel Algebra, but as I was looking at that, I found the Easel SAT Prep, which is a, another free app, and I think my kids could benefit from that. I really like the fact that it asks SAT type questions, gives you the multiple choice, and, and you can actually do your work on the iPad itself. If you don't know how to do it, or if you miss the problem, you can hit the show me button, and they will give you not only an audio explanation, but actually a video explanation working out the problem itself. It shows up kind of like if you're watching Khan Academy, where the uh, work just suddenly appears on your screen. But I think that's very beneficial because the students could get instant feedback if they don't understand how to answer a particular problem. So there were a lot of other apps that we saw. Some of them were very elementary. Uh, there are several apps that I would like to go back and tell our Algebra 1 teacher about, our Math Models teacher, that I think would be a very big help for her as she works with her, those kids that maybe don't catch on quite as quick because it's a, an opportunity for them to get a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. And that's something about the iPads, the kids just really seem to enjoy working on them where they wouldn't want to work the same type of problem with a pencil and paper. So that first session that I went to was very, very beneficial.